Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War. We are here to talk about some Lucha Underground and man, oh man, Sorgatron. Holy balls, what an episode. What a that's your, week. That's your intro. Yeah. What a week for Lucha, guys. I, I am just, it was two matches of amazingness wrapped in a bow of interesting backstage violence. Ah, uh, Sorg, qual es tu palabra para Lucha Underground? Oh, geez. My, my one word, my one word is earthquake. earthquake. Okay. Okay. My palabra this week is waiting. It's a pun. W-E-I-G-H-T-I-N-G. Waiting. Oh. Ah. Ah. He's not a man. Wait for it. Oh. He's a machine. Oh. <laughs> so That's gross. That's gross. Sorry. I just put Sorry. that I just put that joke back at number ten. Sorg, as soon as you recover from that amazing punishment, <laughs> please tell me qual is too bueno. Not not anything that's just happened, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> I would have to say, as amazing as the matches were, and they were amazing, that was the best holy fuck tear apart. Is, is Ultimate Lucha next week? Because that's not what we're setting up for, is it? Uh, I thought we were setting up for Aztec Warfare. <laughs> Christ. Jeez. Jeez, like this is the um in case you've missed it, these people hate each other kind of thing. Um I, I can't believe how intricate of a thing that they planned here. And uh it's like it, it is kind of like they planned a Royal Rumble, but without the wrestling. Yeah, like like and I think my favorite part of it was Killshot like sitting up top just watching everything from reverse. No, 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 no. It was Fox. It was Fox uh, no, initially. It was, it was doing Fox, it. excuse me. Excuse me. Fox saying up like on the perch and he's just being blindsided by kill shot. I'm like, okay, so we're really just taking this all over the place. I mean, you know, no, no, to be taught by my favorite part being the rabbit tribe sitting on, on the top, um, eating carrots. No, no, no. They were commentating to the carrots. Oh, were they commentating? I thought they were just sharing. Yeah, no, no, no. They were apparently commentating. There was a reference uh, by uh, Mr. Striker about that. Oh jeez, that that's even better then. I I wish they were mic'd up. Yeah, I me too. I wish they were mic'd up for that. Me yeah. too. It was just all like right. so much great randomness that is like, oh, these are all the reasons I love this stuff. All right. Uh, well, since you took my good, because that was gonna be my good too. Um, my my uh, me boy, I know this week is Vampiro enjoying matches. <laughs> no, because honestly, I. I I sympathize with him a lot because when I'm trying to do the live tweet on at Mayhem Show, hashtag MM, the live tweet of Lucha Underground, I'm trying to say, think of things to say. Mm -hmm. I also just want to sit down and watch the fucking match. And sometimes I just won't tweet for five, ten minutes while a match is going on. Mm -hmm. And I, I get where Vampiro is coming from there. Like, I mean, I know he's doing it mainly because of the Prince Puma matches. Yeah, and I say, I, I thought they were kind of selling the, his his kind of deep interest in Prince Puma matches lately. Uh, cause but that they, to be they also did it with, uh, with Pentagon a little bit. Okay. All right. And it's yeah. not that Ma uh, Striker needs a whole lot of help in it either. That's true. All right, but Sork, not every show is perfect, not even Lucha Underground. Um, qual es tu malo para Lucha Underground? I can't even think of anything. You kind of have to sort it. That's I, the, point of the, show. The, the, the bad, I, the bad, the bad, the bad. I mean, why isn't Cage wearing the gauntlet, Infinity Gauntlet, when he's 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 hanging out with the bag? Okay, that's a good one. That's honestly a good one. That was one of the things I was considering for mine. Okay. Yeah, because like we've heard time and time again that it's harder to take off. Like. I don't know. It seemed pretty easy for him to take it off. Yeah, he takes it off for matches. He takes it off for brawls. I mean, what are, what's the problem here? Also, by, by the way, also, I felt like Mills maybe wasn't selling the injury that just happened the match bef 
before that segment. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A like little it's bit. one of those like mm, we did not film these back to back, and yeah. maybe we didn't tell him the sequence for this thing. Well, I mean, he sold it in the entrance. He didn't really sell it in the match. That's true. Much. Okay. All right. The, the, I mean, the announcer, the announcers were selling it. Oh, you mean yeah. you mean the uh, in the big. No, no, yeah, I mean, after the match, he was, like, oh, after okay. the match and during the brawl, it didn't seem like he was still favoring his arm. That was, like, I, the I whole reason he wasn't. Adrenaline. I yeah. assume that's adrenaline. I guess so. I guess so. And plus, plus, you can see he has recuperative powers, too. He, this is Katrina true. probably gave him a sensu beam. Jeez. Again, another Deep Cuts reference. Was he, training, in, was he training and healing in the time capsule? Uh-huh. And uh, Milmarth's power is over 9,000! Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, me Malo this week, it's got to go to um, the predictability of the two Cueto Cup matches. Okay. That was the only thing that was, that was the only thing that kind of bugged me a little bit because, like, we know Mill is going to be in a story with Cage. We know that um, Phoenix is in a story of Marty. Right. So it was very clear those two guys were going to lose. And I looked at it, and it was just like, well, now, even though Mr. Vampiro was pushing Puma another way, now he's running headlong into Pentagon, who yep. he probably would rather him take on and try to take out. Yeah. Which, uh, that's... Like, now that we have the final match and the title match next week. I have no idea where we're going with this shit. Nope. It could go a whole, it could go basically every way would be real interesting. There's one that's the most likely, but I don't think that needs a title too. The uh, Mysterio and Puma. Yeah. No, I don't believe it does either. See, I, I think that's, I think that's like, if we're ranking, which match we're going to get at Ultima Lucha. Mysterio versus Puma is probably over 60% likely. But the other ones... Over like 80. Yeah. I mean, you could have you could have Puma versus Johnny. A lot of history there. You could have Pentagon versus Ray. Lots of history there, too. And you could have Pentagon versus Johnny, which they have zero history, and you could actually build something really interesting. Like, honestly, I... I'm cool with any of those four matches. Lucha Future is looking good. Yeah, it is. How many episodes Great. do we have left? Because I noticed it was like episode 31 when I was pulling it up this morning. Um, I thought he said we were going until at least October. Wow. Yeah, because, I mean, we've only given out three medals. We still have to have a god fight death. The, the participation, the the Lucha participation uh, trophy still need to go out? Yes. Yes, they do. And we need to get back to trio titles matches. Well, there's a lot. By the way, Sorg, I think I found my new favorite trio that's not yet a trio team. Mm -hmm. uh, Max, Sexy Star, and Dragon Azteca. Ooh. We can, we can call them the Booyaka Brigade. Okay, that could be fun. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sorg. Qual es tu cambio? What would you change about this week's Lucha Underground? <laughs> Sorry, there's no Cintina in the chat room saying Dragon Ball Z deep cuts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Yep. Yep. And, and that long break from uh, February to May is what did it. Uh, they're really stretching it out. What was my What was my question? <laughs> Qual es tu cambio? What would I change? Okay. Um. I respond like I understand what that meant. Um. I would change. Maybe that was my change. It would have been my bad. Uh, I would change. Come back to me. <laughs> okay, Sorg. I would have changed um, kind of the, the view that we had during the huge fight. I would have just not moved that camera away from Dario Cueto. <laughs> because okay, his okay. reaction to watching all the violence was like... Like, picture any video you've seen on YouTube of a child opening up a present on Christmas Day. Then multiply that by 30 and put it in the body of an older Chicano man. 
Because, like, if he just whipped it out and started masturbating, it would not have been inappropriate for that scene. <laughs> okay. I did not think we were going that direction with this, but... Um, but... Well, he loves violence, Sork. He gets off on it. Mm -hmm. He said so. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you know, my change, I would have had something happen with uh, Volano. I think that's his name. No, Volano's the other guy from WCW. Banana. 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 Volano yeah. f 3 and 4 <laughs> were the tag team in, in Nitro era. Um, yes. I would have had at least some kind of confrontation with, or at least something with him and maybe Sexy Star running into each other. But, okay. And maybe we'll get that next week in advance, so I don't know. Well, I mean, we do have a mask versus mask match next yes. week. Yes. That should be interesting. Yes. Um, I... Also, just I also, also like, just like randomly, right? You know, Joey Ryan's like, "Hey, I think I figured out he's that guy." I'm like, "Why? Why did you? I don't know. Stand next to him in the urinal or something? What? What's the deal?" Well, I mean, it's also kind of obvious. Like, if you watch his match, like, "Hey, that guy moves a lot like Cortez Castro." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know, Random he guy. was gone about the time it takes for someone to heal up. Although I did love, I did. love that he explained who he was and like Quato didn't even know. Like yeah, he's like Dari, the Dari was like Dari didn't even know who he was. Like Veneno? Oh, okay, yeah, him. Like, and you and then you still like know. yeah, you're you're like I I'm still not sure if he he's sure who that is. But And uh also did you see was it Joey Ryan that was just randomly fighting with Vinny Massaro? Yeah. Where did that feud come from? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm a fan of it. <laughs> is that going to be like an ultimate lucha match now? Is Vinny Massaro and 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 Joey, which is like, you know, like it's like they were standing around in the meeting and be like, uh, you guys can fight each other. Hashtag give Vinny a chance. Give Vinny a chance. Hello, welcome to the 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 Vinny Revolution. Vinny is a Vin. I want Vinny to have one of the medals. I want Vinny hey, to have one of the internet. Anybody, medals. anybody can get a medal. That's for sure, because you gotta yeah. fill out that match somehow. Mm -hmm. That that match is already going to be interesting with the three Rabbit Tribe guys in there. That's already yes. gonna be interesting. That's a half the match. That's great. Uh, okay, Sorg, did, did we miss anything from Lucha besides? I, oh, we, okay. we should mention. Um, uh, I um, my word for this week was almost Ghost Puncher. <laughs> I saw the tweets, Ghost Puncher. Please, please break that down. Um, basically, Katrina confronted Cage while he was working out without the gauntlet on. And Katrina said she wanted the gauntlet. Cage said, um, I'm not going to give it to you. And then tried to tried to back spinning back fist her mm -hmm. like he was fucking in Tekken. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And she just disappeared. I'm like, who are you going to call? Ghost puncher. It, it, Lucha Underground is really great, you guys. <laughs> By the way, one thing, and, and all right, we don't say this often enough. The pacing of the actual television program is probably one of the things that makes Lucha Underground the most enjoyable to watch because unless it's a huge match, you never get a commercial break during a match. No, no, no. Like, unless it's something like Aztec Warfare or All Night Long or something that you know is going to last virtually an entire show you don't get commercial breaks and that is something that you don't lose the flow of the match like i'm sure it helps that they get to edit the match down for time constraints mm -hmm. but but you don't lose the flow of the match at all you get to be fully invested in that segment and that like it's completely understated but like that's why when you go to a live raw or a live smackdown you always have a much better time because you're not being bombarded with the fucking guys from Sonic. <laughs> I'm so glad I buy this on iTunes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I, w I watch it on DVR, so I mm -hmm. I don't have to deal with the commercials either, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, and that and that that goes understated sometimes. So the production guys at Lucha, you know, they know how to pace out a show. They know how to pace out a show, and it really helps the enjoyment of it. They've been doing it for a while, guys. That's true. All right, so Sorg, where, oh, where do you rank Lucha Underground this week? Uh, numero uno. 
<laughs> yeah, same Z's. You can't. I don't know what's... If you're not yeah. a Lucha Underground fan, just take the wrestling segments alone. Stack them up with what you saw in NXT and 205 and tell me they don't win by themselves. It's a different show. I'm starting to think that Lucha Underground just is not comparable because of the type of show that it is. I, I tweeted at one point that you look at everything that you love about Lucha Underground, and those are the exact things that WWE cannot do in that sort of live and arena uh, production environment, period. But they could, if they chose to, mm. do it with NXT. And with NXT. Okay, yes. With NXT, they could. Yes. They absolutely could if they decided to, and they decided not to. And it felt like maybe they used to for a while that they don't now. Yes. Yeah. They absolutely could do that with NXT because, honestly, they control the commercial breaks on NXT, and they choose to interrupt matches. Good time to tell you that you need to be one of us and buy a T-shirt. One of us. One of us. Yes. All right. uh, Sorg, where... Can the good people of the internet find you? I want you to start at SorgatronMedia.com. Check out everything, including our affiliates like Bold Nights Out, the Scarehouse Podcast, and our friends in the comic book world with the uh, panel right on Comic Book Pit. So many more coming soon. All right, and you can find me at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show sometime Wednesday evening. Hit up the hashtag MM. I live tweet the hell out of Lucha Underground, and boy, oh boy, do I sometimes use a gif of Meryl Streep to describe how excited I am for a match? <laughs> that's the thing he does. That That's absolutely the thing I did. And all right, all right, for those of you who did not see the tweet, it was uh, Prince It was Prince Puma. It was Puma versus Phoenix. And I found a gif of Meryl Streep saying, this is the moment we're waiting for. And I'm like, you know what? Good on you, Meryl. That's exactly my thoughts. That's exactly my thoughts. Yeah, it happens. Things get weird on Wednesday night, guys. You just got to... De- By the way, hold on. Speaking of things getting weird, there's one thing, Sorg. Did you see this guy? This guy in the crowd. I totally forgot to mention it. I'm glad I said weird. Sorg, after Mario the Moth cost Phoenix his match, did you see the guy in the crowd holding a Marty poster and stroking it lovingly? I think I did. Yeah, I tr- I think I tried to keep it out of my head, but you brought it back, and now I need to cleanse yeah. my brain. Yeah. Um. Now, Marty the Moth, I love you as a performer. You are one of my favorite parts of Lucha Underground. You are creepy as fuck. No offense, that man in the crowd trumps you by a million. Yeah, 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 trumps yeah. You Marty, by Marty, a million. Marty, you're bringing out the weirdos. Marty, my advice to you. Hire that man as your manager and just have him oddly stand in the corner stroking a picture of you. And, and not 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 because it's entertaining and it'd be a good business move. Just so I can keep an eye on that guy while we, we make sure he's not wanted for anything. We are looking out for your best interest, Mark. Yes. yes. That's really what's going on here. And, 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 and also nearby to schools. The, to, the, uh, to the girl in the Lucha Underground uh, Believer section with the blue hair, sup. Uh, anyway, Sorg. <laughs> she got featured uh, prominently. Like, you know what? You get she attention. really did. Just, hey, you know what? Hey. If they feature her prominently, I'm going to give her a shout out on here because here sup. <laughs> What's up, blue hair? How you yeah. doing? With the yeah, bow exactly. and everything. Sorg, you're married. Stop that. I'm just, you're not. Well, you're Sorg. Feeling, so, I Sorg. Mean, I just appreciate the stylings. Okay. All right. That's fair. I mean, it's just the plutonic <laughs> sup. Plutonic? Plutonic. I'm I'm sure in, in 2017 you can get Plutonic at Ames. Never mind. Never mind. Platonic. Plutonic is like plutonium. We're at the show. Yes. <laughs> Until next week. Next sort, we have the finals next week. And we have Ray versus Johnny. And Mask versus Mask. What the fuck? This is going to be in one hour. How does that occur? But you know what, Sorg? We'll find out next week right here on Facebook Live on The Mid.